So it's defined, um, that pretty much covers the full design of this particular um, terrain in the first video for State of Development. I'm hoping to have many more of these in the coming future, either just myself or you included. Maybe if there's some really big jump in production and really big quality that you want to provide your expertise on a bit further, you're more than welcome to, to jump in. I know one feature uh, in particular that I'd love to have you on, maybe we can do a demo of this one day, is how the iPad is integrated into this system because I know that World Creator 3 is indeed coming to uh, the iPad version, correct? Right, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the UI uh, won't change that much at all. Um, it will be as is. Um, the good thing is that, okay, I mean, a few... A few um, icons and you know the sliders and that will be uh, get a little bit uh, larger for sure but uh, yeah you can expect the same quality the same usage everything will be exactly as the standard own version so yeah i mean world credit 3 also runs with the wacom mm -hmm. tablet and uh, and uh, any other tablets as well just so you can use a pen to use the entire controls also a huge feature that was requested in for world credit 2 but uh, now in world credit 3 it will be available as well Perfect. And I, I know we're definitely going to have to dive into showcasing some of those yes. iPad features and, and how these Absolutely. two programs versus the desktop version and the iPad version, what like specifically we can cover later on, you know, what's the ideal usage workflow wise for the iPad, you know, as far as maybe sketching roads or sketching or shaping the terrain, because I can imagine, you know, especially whenever we add Paint, the painting features and the custom base shape features in World Creator 3, that's something that I know for sure will definitely be a fun thing in my mind uh, for the iPad version and things, you know, a little bit more fine tweaking things on a bigger screen would be, you know, reserved for the computer version, at least workflow related. I have no doubt that you can do everything that you want to do on the iPad version for sure. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, the new iPad would be powerful enough for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, perfect. I think the only thing that I want to close um, this discussion on is what is the what does the pipeline look like for the remainder of this year, and when is the projected time frame of when we can see the um, the beta come available to more users? Because I know right now it's under a closed alpha access for um, certain individuals to you know basically play test this for you. Um, to find bugs yeah. and features and things like that. So I don't want to go too far into getting everybody's hopes up and divulge too much information. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, what? when would you like, I ideally, to see, you know, this become more available as it's polished to uh, more users? We're going to uh, open the beta in November, mid-end of November this mm -hmm. year. Um, so all Word Creator customers that own the professional version will get instant access to it. Um, so you'll be able to play around with it and all that. Um, you probably also will enable the um, the export functions. So you mm -hmm. will be able to export the terrain and the splat maps and all that stuff. And yeah, we plan the first official release, which won't cover all the features of Word Creator 2, but will have at least everything ready for you to to design your terrain using the custom base shape tool in December 2020. So Actually, just a few weeks after the yeah after the initial beta, we are going to to do the official release, and yeah, from then on, you can expect uh, new features every week coming, just pushing week after week. So I think we will have all the features of World Creator Two, including World Creator Three, early twenty one, mm -hmm. and of course, I mean those features that we that we take over will not be just like you know exactly the same as World Creator uh, 2 that will be heavily improved. I mean, the custom base shape will have subdivisions. Um, sculpting uh, will have undo, redo, and all that stuff. Um, there will be also a true sculpting um, mode where you can edit the terrain as is, based on a baked terrain. Yeah, I mean, there will be tiling features. There's so much more, you know, also just drawing textures and colors as is not not using areas or anything like that as you did in work create to just select the texture click on paint and you can paint it wherever you want this mm. will also apply for the filters and for the biome so you're not only used to the procedural biome generator you can also just draw your own biomes their location and yeah spread them as you want mm -hmm. so work 3 will be more more powerful in designing the terrain by hand 
like handcrafting things and so but also the procedure generator is heavily improved really heavily improved oh it, and it, you can definitely tell um if i were to try and do this same filter stack and material uh stack in world creator 2 um yeah. i presume the results would be a, a, a fair bit different as far as you yeah. know pre yeah. the precision of the details yes. absolutely i mean the texturing now in work Red 3 totally totally destroys work creator 2 texture techniques completely i mean this is already more powerful than work Red 2. yeah we we even saw that here today just in this yeah. short example there's some just yeah. some of the quality of it is a bit different yeah i already like how work creator 3 is regarding texturing and and all those pretty nice distribution rules i mean this is just a bunch of distribution rules um, there will be a lot more and you'll also be able to create your own one. So mm -hmm. yeah, this will be fun for sure. Definitely a lot of, um, that all sounds fantastic. There were some, if anybody caught that, there were some little, uh, Easter eggs in Stefan's, uh, explanation there on some of the things you can look forward to. One of which I'm very excited for is the, uh, tiled feature where you can add multiple tiles like a like compositionally if i wanted to add a tile next to this terrain in this in the scene we can add a new tile see both tiles at once or just select which tiles that we want to work on so seemingly you can get super large terrains optimized to work in on a tile by tile basis and including you know in world creator 2 you're only set by a limited number of filter distributions as opposed to here there's almost seemingly an unlimited number of ways you can distribute that specific texture or that specific filter. And once the um, beta gets launched, and especially once the full release gets launched, all of these new uh, features that Stefan is talking about, adding all these smaller features, we'll be definitely diving in a bit further into many more little videos to really highlight those features and that's going to segue into probably one of the best characteristics that I feel about World Creator 3 is just its ease of use workflow wise compared to World Creator 2. Now, World Creator 2 is pretty easy to use, except for, especially for me having been around it for, you know, the past couple of years. But um, I think for, you know, especially beginning users and, and even pro users, World Creator 3 just feels more not only user friendly, but the flow of the concept on how to work in it is easier to grasp. Yeah, I agree. Perfect. So thank you, Stefan, again, for joining me in this first um, video. We're going to have many more. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.